Oh shit. Oh, wait, I just realized something. I just realized something. There we go. You now you can be heard. <gasps> Yay! I, I forgot I recorded some more EDF with uh, over the weekend with Brock and Corey, and uh, I, I changed my PC output to NVIDIA Broadcast, and you guys uh, are on Broadcast, so I had to change it back. Anyways, it's working gotcha. now. Yay! It should be working anyways. So, how's everyone? I'm doing good. Happy Canada Day, everyone. Happy Canada Day. Kenyatta. 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 What kind, what'd you get? Um, I got some sort of, I don't know, uh, carnitas mixed with queso for Ooh. natural juice grid. <laughs> oh, that, mm, ooh. Um, oh, that yeah, sounds yeah. good. It was very good. Uh, I mentioned a bit of this on Saturday, but uh, we had a, we had our Canada Day slash housewarming party for our new roommates on Friday night. Yeah. And, uh, it was good. We had lots of meat, lots of burgers, hot dogs, sausages, Hell yeah. two racks of ribs. Um, there, let's just say there's a lot of leftovers. Um, but we had uh, <laughs> I would had imagine, a yeah. Out. A lot of people came out. People uh, we didn't think would come out, but they came out. And yeah. we watched three movies. We watched Mortal Kombat, the original Mortal Kombat movie, um, <laughs> and uh, Street Fighter, which does not hold up as well as I remember but mortal Kombat definitely does um and then I we mean, and, and in that it doesn't <laughs> and then one of our fr well mortal Kombat is my, f is my favorite uh video game movie it it's mm. fantastic it's it's just as good now as i remember it um and for some of that's cheese but some of that's legitimately a fun uh action movie that actually follows parts of the game story which you find is is a lot hard, is a lot harder these days because a lot of the uh, Mm. Movie studios don't realize that people just want you to put the video game story in movie format. That's that's all you need to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I noticed like when like Fallout the series happened, everyone was like, "Oh, what? So you just wanted to put the video game on screen? Is that all you want?" Like, fucking yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> like it didn't do anything different. It was just the game. Yeah. That's that's the exactly point. Well, something with Fallout is different because you can follow your own story like mm -hmm. uh i'm not super well versed in it but the way um bill explained to me is that like because i said okay if we're gonna play fallout 3 because he wants to do fallout 3 for the channel i'm like i want to do the main story he's like there isn't a main uh... story you have to pick a path <laughs> i'm like oh i mean i did the main story i cleared it in about three hours and i was like that was fucking it that was dumb what what's 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 the main story then because uh, to me, he's you like, gotta find your father well, yeah, but you have to pick a path along the way, is what he said. It's like you can, I mean, just... you don't have to. You can just go straight to it. Yep. Yeah. Sounds like it's not as fun if you just do that. So. Yeah, well, see... Well, yeah, if you thing... ignore all the story options, of course it's not going to be as fun. Right, but, like, my thing is, look, if your game has a bunch of different, like, quests and stuff, you have to make me want to do them. I'm not just going to be obligated to do them just because I'm, like, playing it. Fair. So, like, Breath of the Wild was like a well, huh, breath of fresh air in that case. A breath like, of, I'm like, oh, I want to do everything. Breath of the fresh air. Breath of the... <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, and oh, so I meant to say, just going back to it, um, uh, one of our friends had never seen UHF, so we threw UHF on as well and watched that again. Oh my gosh. Which, that movie's even better the second time around. I haven't seen that since like high school. It's so it's so good. I'm, it's so like I'm it's sure the, it's, it still it's the up. it's the right kind of like humor where it's like you're not expecting things, but you should expect them. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about Weird Al. It, it's a good that. companion to the to the weird uh, documentary. Yeah. Oh, my, I told you. I told you <laughs> the first time I saw UHF. I also saw it as a double feature with Weird. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. That's the that's, way to watch it. 
And and the fun the fun part was is they made a subtle reference to UHF that I would have totally missed if I hadn't watched it. <laughs> I just remember you you son of a bitch is what I said. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it was it was a lot of fun. I I did do a couple of alcohols, but I didn't get too drunk. Obviously, because I didn't send barely compre uh, very coherent uh, texts to you. <laughs> Uh, I'd say no. I'm really drunk. Texts are great. I'm glad you enjoy them. <laughs> Can you ever decide? I'm not going to lie. I was zoned out about ten minutes ago. You guys were talking about video game movies. You're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> but the, yes, the drunk texts are very easy to decipher for me. Oh, they are. Okay, They're entertaining as hell. I'm very used I'm... to deciphering drunk texts. Yours are far from the worst I've seen. Because sometimes I look back at what I wrote, and I'm like, what the fuck was I talking about? I always love the ones where you, like, contradict yourself in the next sentence and go back and forth. Yeah. Good times, good times. Uh, well, I'm glad they provided entertainment to y'all, and I haven't said anything super embarrassing yet. <laughs> well, I'm sure I have, actually. Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh my yeah. gosh, I got a peek at my live 2D. Holly's doing it. It looks so good. I know. Ah! Guys, you, you 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 don't know, but don't worry. He'll know. Eventually. Oh my god, it looks so great. It was freaking hot shit. I still keep forgetting. Well, yeah, it's you. Of course to... it is. Well, yeah, 100%. I agree with that. I still keep forgetting I need to talk to somebody to help me fix what I did wrong in VTube Studio because I can't get any of my models to like move. Oh no! Like my phone connects and everything's mm -hmm. good, but no movement. Weird. And I know it's I know it's not the model because I've had, I loaded the model on my phone and it works. It doesn't work well, but it works. Huh? Because I've been using using the S twenty three Ultra now, not the iPhone. So oh, weird going back to webcam blend shapes. Wow. That's what I'll say. It's weird. Yeah. I have this iPhone specifically for VTubing. It doesn't leave my desk. Well, it was mine was my daily driver, but I mostly got it because I needed the camera. And then once I got this phone, I was like, oh, thank God. Back to Android. <laughs> yeah, I had to use an iPhone for like two months while my phone was out for repairs. And Oof. I'm oh, still right. untangling some of the iOS bullshit. I saw a uh, a repair place on youtube talking about your model of phone and how like susceptible they are to the the screen problems and i'm like mm -hmm. you know you think they would have tested this more before they you know started oh, selling they, these phones how unfortunate well, they changed the hinge from the three to the four i've got the four and like it's really bad what why floor would android be unfortunate it's the superior phone type i Agreed. don't understand people who use iphones and say it's better don't know what don't know what they what they're missing is basically what it comes down to. Look, or I was they, an iPhone girl to begin with. Like I was in that shit from day, uh, let's say twenty, because I bought one on eBay. <laughs> like I like the iPhone. Don't get me wrong. I just think that it's very restrictive. So I'm just I much prefer Android. It's just so much more user uh, customizable and like intuitive and I don't know. I'm not going to make this a rant about phones. They're both all right platforms. Just they're both one over the other. Fine. Be the defect. I mean, there's no Windows right phone. <laughs> Sorry, I can't believe I just said that. Uh. Anyways, hey, look, I worked at a repair shop uh, for a while. Uh, wow. I saw mostly iPhones, so yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, and, and I, I realize they're popular <laughs> phones, so. That would be the fact that the phone uh, was in the repair shop. What? Yeah, that's what I was responding to. I was gonna say I see more iPhones <laughs> ever. Like, uh -huh. I when I when I when it comes to repairing stuff, I see more iPhones than anything else. I have never owned an iPhone. I don't plan on changing that. I will could probably be, or have could... an iPhone like in my office for like backup stuff and weird things. Or you could be, uh, or you could be a crazy person like Marquez Brownlee, who has two different daily driver phones, a uh, an Android and the latest iPhone. He uses both as his regular phones. 
Who I'm did like, the phone wall? Was that Marcus or was that for someone? The what? <laughs> I'll find it. Hang on. Uh, concerned noises. Oh, I'll find it. <sighs> Basically, it's like one of the YouTubers that like had so many phones because they do like reviews and shit that like another YouTuber came and like built them shelves and they have like an app on their phone. They can like hit a button and it'll illuminate the phone that they're looking for. Oh, that's interesting. Like a smart shelf or. I mean, kind of, yeah, it had LEDs in it. So like all the phones were angled and like organized and shit. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I'll find that's it later. Kind of, that's kind of neat. I like that. Yeah. Or sorry, Tim McGraw or not Garth Brooks. I like that. You got a refractor shard. Ah, uh, Thank you, Ford. Shield. X5. It's not the phone you're looking for. It is not. No. Not the phone you're looking for. No. Blue. Just a just reminded everybody who's watching on my side. Um, this guy's the actual the actual one controlling everything. So. Make sure you check out her stream as well. Yeah, it's a fun time, I promise. That, yeah. <laughs> Is there a reason why you say they wouldn't? What now? Never mind. Hmm? I'm easily distractible. I, I know you are. Yeah. But what am I? <laughs> easily yeah. distractible. I'm not as easily distracted. I didn't say you were as easily, but you're still easily distractible. Oi. Nah. Yes? Tee -hee. You, you say cat. oi because you can't say I'm wrong. I can't hear any audio. Did you turn it off? It's low. There was audio earlier, it's so it's probably quiet. Let me turn this shit up. Yep, there's audio. Yeah. Here, I'll do it because it's a little low on mine, too. Okay. There we go. Oi fix. Yeah. Yay. And now we got... Oh, that's right, we're in the middle of an escape room. Yes. Yeah. Oh, gosh. There was something I'm still waiting for the giant baby there. to show up. The what? No giant baby. Sky, Ignore. never never play Resident Evil Village. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. It will scare the fuck out of you if giant babies... Scary. Giant babies are scary anyways. I don't like it. I didn't like it either. I was like, oh, fuck. This fucking baby. Does offer sky control? It's me. I I control all. She does. Can confirm. Let's see what did well. we just do? Oh, that's right. We got the last couple pieces from the office that had all the junk in it. Can we make a full lady yet? I think so. No. Oh. Can oh. we? I think so. An old hard bed, but... Okay, so we've collected the six... Oh, that's you. Ah! Okay, so we've collected the six parts of the medical mannequin. Still very creepy. So the ones we've got must be for Lucy, right? Yay. Yeah! Seems like it. Well, I say we give Lucy her parts back. Any objections? No. Agree. You know, I was thinking about we probably could have interacted with this earlier to just put things back piecemeal. Nope, I tried. No? Okay, never mind then. All right, let's nope. get started. This game likes you to pick up all the pieces before you do something, so. Combine. They're going to combine? Yay. How lewd. Hey. Nothing happened. Hooray. That's odd. Maybe it's the wrong way? Wait! You got a refractor shard. Uh, yeah, Ruby well, you know how shield. there's a scale it's on the X side of the bed? Five. Objection? Where's Phoenix Wright? Don't get Maybe. us started. We need to get the scale to a specific number. 
how we're gonna do that. I think we're supposed to swap her body parts with John's. How lewd. Oh my. Oh! Let's give it a shot. Well, okay. are you, aren't you supposed to be reading that? Yeah, it's just instructions. Okay. Hey, I'm trying to think. I know this was like really simple. Oh, <laughs> it's literally just that. Just, it just swapped everything. Except hey, for the heart. I just heard something. Keep from John's operating team. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> that was perfectly timed. Beautiful. That was perfectly timed. I heard something. Doom, doom, doom. Ah, that's great. Oh, man. Wrong streaming platform. <laughs> yeah, we're not on Blue Twitch tonight. Why do we cover her back up? For... I don't know. Huh? Oh. A lid on the scale. Yay! Hey, it opened. Oh, I get it. It must have opened because we matched John's weight to that to what's on the chart. Okay, so that means there's something on Lucy that we still have to open too, probably. Okay, that's the four key. Yeah, that's the. Or that's Saturn. what Mars? No, that, yeah, Saturn. Mercury, Jupiter. Oh. Jupiter. We were Jupiter. all wrong. Congratulations, Yay. everyone. Well, she is my favorite Sailor Scout. I don't know all the Sailor Scouts. I'm a bad Sailor Moon fan. I only care really about the main ones. I don't. I'm not. Uh, I don't really care about all the extra ones that come later. Now, where does that fucking door go? Oh, right. The um, there was a door in the office. Guy, yeah, if you have a Thanks. hard time remembering the Sailor Scouts, just remember the, the American theme song, because it goes through the <laughs> what team. It does. Say the Venus. Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter. I have no I idea what they're referencing. Sailor, Sailor Moon. Moon! She is the one named Sailor Moon. She will never turn her back, back on, on her friends. friends. <laughs> <laughs> God, we could go. Yeah, yeah. I could. I could. I could. I know that you're very singy tonight, so. I am very singy. He's always singy, I, though. I. I I I caught up on a uh, hell of a boss the other day, and no one else has caught up that I know, and I'm losing my mind. So the songs keep playing in my head. Uh, I have no interest in watching it, so whatever you say is not going to bother me. So oh, good music! Oh my god, love a good sad rock ballad. Yeah, those are pretty good. Zero, this is still your line. Oh, sorry. Hey, hold on. We did. Jinpei mm -hmm. stopped, about to put the key into the doorknob. What's up? Where's Clover? Huh? Did she go running, that wandering off on her God own God damn again? it, Clover. Jinpei turned around. Clover was nowhere to be seen. Fucking Clover. God damn it, where the hell did she go? Is she fucking with a dead body again? <sighs> okay, just hold on a minute. I'll go get her. Sure thing. Wait by the door. Sit. Stay. You're telling Jim that Pella to seven. seven at the door and headed back to the operator room. Yes. You're ridiculous. I don't know. Considering your propensity to get lost, Zero, having you stay in the same place might not be a bad idea. I'm voicing both of them. Shut up. Yes, and one of them's <laughs> lost. Probably with I don't want to hear it from you. I don't know that reference. What reference? Sam and Alex. Oh, Clover. oh. The, those are the one of the. Oh, totally spies. Oh. Oh. Oh okay. shit! Yeah, it is. Oh my god! It's been... I might immediately went to Sam and Alex from this show I watched as a kid with these little rabbits. It's because it's because I'm Canadian, isn't it? That's why I figured it out. What does yes. that have to do with anything? Because uh, Totally Spies is like Canadian production. 
Yeah. I never do that. Yep. Yeah, so was uh, uh, Martin, Martin Mystery was as well, which is the same animation studio. There's a couple other ones. Hmm. Um, happy Canada know. Day, everybody. <laughs> Yay. Watched it growing up. I watched it a little bit. I was a little old to be uh, watching girl shows. So I was like, wow, I enjoyed it from what I saw. It's it's, it's stupid good. as hell. You know, it's yes, you know it's yes funny. it was. Um, mm-hmm. I uh, when I when I was in high school, I used to get up early so I could watch um, on Saturdays because uh, Foxbox had Mew Mew Power, which is we now know as Tokyo Mew Mew, and I really <laughs> wanted to watch that. And my dad questioned me once. He's like, "Why are you getting up early to watch this?" The, the girls anime i'm like I, i'm like i'm like dad's anime i'm i need anime i watched I it friday it. nights i watched it at the start but really deep down i was like i like this cutesy shit i want more hell yeah i watched ham taro when i was like oh i would i, I would Hamtaro. deliver papers and i would get done early and then i would watch ham taro it was great. i love ham taro ham taro is so good i have Rats never seen really jewel riders it. wow i haven't seen jewel riders i didn't watch brats I... I haven't watched uh, Brett's. I didn't thing. even know about Jewel Rider. I've um, never heard of Jewel Rider. Neither have but, I. But I remember uh, YTV had um, uh, at nights when they were done their their quote unquote boy slash shonen block, they would do uh, Martin Mystery with Totally Spies. Because nice. Martin Mystery, I think, was kind of for the girls too, even though it was a boy show. Because it felt more like a girls show. I can see that. It's like. It's like why Tiger and Bunny got super popular with women. I we don't know, but it did. Tiger and Bunny. Tiger and Bunny was an anime that came out. Uh, this almost this will be like fifteen years ago, um, and it was doing really low in the ratings in Japan. But then when they put it on, uh, when they brought it out uh, overseas, it had a really really high female demographic, and it's it kind mm-hmm. of kept the show going. Um, a it's a good show. Shira, damn. It, it it it's a good show. It's 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 like it's it's a it's a mecha superhero show. But so I don't understand how this was so appe- it was so appealing to women, but it was apparently. So you would be well, surprised how big Gundam is with women. Because the uh, no, the I am not Girl surprised Scott. because when someone new comes into the LTN server and they go to the robot section <laughs> and they say they like either Transformers or Bionicle, I'm like, oh, so you're trans. <laughs> It's generally a good dead ringer, yeah. It's like saying Celeste is one of their favorite games. I mean, Celeste, Jewel, I really do like Celeste. Darling. So it is. It's uh, really good. But it's just, it's just like that's that's the first telltale sign if someone's trans coming into the server, is that they say that they like Bionicle. <laughs> the real or question is which Gundam they got into. Hi June, happy there. Canada Day. Happy Canada Day, Dragon's Sword Power. Fuck yeah. Don't let me get out my dragon flute. I'll do it. She will. Oh, hey, we found Clover. <laughs> She's standing next to the operating table. He literally She's just staring at the mannequin. Hey, Clover, what's wrong? So we literally just walked away from her then. Yeah. Come on, let's get out of here. Ellipses. She didn't respond. If she hadn't been standing up and breathing, Jinpei might have thought she was dead. What are you doing? Did you want to come back here and say goodbye to John? It wasn't the best joke, but it was something. An attempt to lighten the mood. Was it? Was it something? I don't think it was. Clover didn't I'd be, laugh. I'd be more surprised if she did. <laughs> she stood stock still and said nothing. Hey, Clover, can you hear me? Perhaps it was something he'd said, or perhaps it was something else. Suddenly her mouth opened and she whispered in a dry, dead voice. My my brother might be dead. Yeah, probably. Huh? That's why we couldn't find him. If he's dead, I'm going to be next. Suddenly, the operating room felt very, very cold. What? What are you talking about? What's wrong with you? He gave her a small shake, but she still didn't respond. The silence grew heavier. 
Jinpei. Um, I'd give her the four-leaf clover. Give her a clover? Clover yeah. for a clover? Indeed. Oh, yeah. He didn't know why, but suddenly Junpei remembered something he'd been given earlier. He reached into his pocket and dug it out. A four-leaf clover. Santa had given it to him in the second classroom. He held it out to Clover. You know that each leaf on the four-leaf clover means something. Hope, face, love, and luck. Unless Santa was just completely bullshitting us. Take it. Use it as a good luck charm. He pressed the four-leaf clover into her hand. I mean, it doesn't matter if he was lying to us as long as she believes it. True. Listen to me, Clover. No matter what happens, you can never lose hope. You have to remember what's most important, and that's to have faith. And to have love. If you can remember all of those, that'll bring you good luck. Ellipses. Smooth, Jinpei. Snake, I mean, your brother. He's not dead. He's alive somewhere, I'm sure of it. You just gotta believe in that. Clover stared at the four-leaf clover in her hand. He could see tears start to form at the corners of her eyes. Thank you. Her voice was tiny and broken, and as she spoke, she started to cry. She tried to hide her tears <laughs> by looking at the floor, but it did little good. She wiped away her tears with the baggy arms of her jacket, but more quickly but more quickly took their place. Ah, those were words. No matter how she Intent tried, was she couldn't stop crying. It, it was. Her tears made small wet circles on the floor. Those are big tears. Thank you. She said it again. Then she looked up at Junpei and seemed to choke down the last of her grief. She did her best to smile. Junpei wiped an errant tear from her cheek with his thumb and gave her the best smile he could manage. Now, come on. Someone's waiting for us at the exit. But still, she didn't move. Wait. Before we go, there's one thing I want to ask you. What's that? What do you think when you hear the word experiment? Gay. Nothing good. Why gay? <laughs> Experimenting. Like yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, totally gay. For a moment, his mind froze. All he could think about was lesbians. Then he came back to his senses and realized the word meant nothing to him, aside from the dictionary definition. Uh, what? Oh. Huh. I guess it was just a coincidence, then. I mean, you knew about the four-leaf clover. Uh... Look, I'm sorry. I don't want to be a jerk, but... You're making less than no sense right now. Oh, no, no. It's it's nothing. Just forget about it. Oh, don't give me that. You really think I could... I mean, yeah. What is this experiment you were talking about? Clover looked away. The four-leaf clover was still in her hand. She stared at it for a long moment and then finally spoke. You promise you won't tell anyone? Exposition time. Cross my heart. Really? Really, really. <laughs> I can trust you, right? Of course you can. Clover slipped the four-leaf clover into her pocket. Her eyes still red from crying, she looked up at Junpei. Okay then, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what happened to the ship nine years ago. Wait, 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 wait. On this ship? Yeah, this ship. He was entirely lost. He had a thousand questions. Not nine thousand? But it was probably best, he thought, to save them until Clover had finished. 
he did not have over 9,000 questions, no. It was an experiment to test some sort of psychic thing. Something about communicating through these fields that you can't see. Fields that you can't see. We heard something like this before. Clover nodded. The collective unconscious. Uh -huh. Like, think about it. She pointed at the operating table. On top of it was a somewhat mismatched medical mannequin whose parts had been swapped with another mannequin. Oh, excuse me. Alright. This is John, right? But is he really John? John Cena? Ba -ba -da -ba. Oh god, don't don't encourage Florg. All Jim Pick could think was she has finally completely lost it. Isn't this like Lock Socks? Or the ship of Theseus? Theseus. I don't know Theseus. John Locks, but I do know the ship of Theseus. Yeah, I know the ship of Theseus. Junpei grew even more confused. He'd never heard of either of these things, although they sounded smart. They're interesting philosophical questions. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, I see, Floyd. You don't know? You don't know yet! You haven't heard of the those paradoxes? Parody's nuts. Junpei oh. shook his head. Oh my god. No, oh, I'll give her that one. Ooh. That was a good one. <laughs> the oh! Was there and she took it. Yeah, that was a good one, but like none of the ones I do are good ones. I actually look for that shit. <laughs> look, it's the fact it was... that she doesn't do them very often that makes it work. Uh-huh. I'm not seeing any favoritism whatsoever. Nope. Did my stream die or something? Because it's doing the f five minutes to the ad thing for me. No, it's showing that for me. Yeah. I just snoozed it because we're getting into um, lore. Oh, oh, you did it? Okay. Yeah. Because it should have appeared at the very start of the stream. Hmm. It did. It did? Did it snooze then? No. I didn't snooze it because we were at the start of the stream. Yeah. Uh... Still saying it starts in four minutes, but yeah, we should that yeah. should be enough time to get through this. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, okay, okay. Sorry, continue. It's your line. Yeah, sorry, one second. I'm rearranging my windows here. Okay, <clears throat> okay, well, pay attention then. This is how lock socks work. Are we gonna rock them off too? Oh, god. Let's say I've got a pair of socks. They're my favorite socks. One of them gets a hole in it. What would you do if that was your sock, Jinpei? What do you think, Jinpei? I mean, from, pers I mean, from personal experience, I'd probably throw it away. I'd probably wear it for a while until the hole gets worse, but I'd end up throwing it away. Well, I'd pitch it, I guess. But it's More your favorite pair of socks. Come on, who loves your socks that much? Probably Sky. I mean, don't. I do I like certain socks. Hi, what's going on, my man? Cast, what's up? Nani deska? Nani deska? It doesn't matter. Just suppose you love them that much. Uh, well, I guess then I'd patch it. No, I wouldn't. What if another hole opens? Black socks I'd go to add another patch, I suppose. I say lying through my teeth. Black socks <laughs> go to Hell yeah, especially if they go up to the thighs. I've got black socks on right now. Cute. Not up to my thighs, though. They're showing off my ankle. Damn it. Huh? <laughs> Uh, Did you just get my line? Catch, no. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. She's just been saying the same thing again and again. So. Oh, okay. Well, let's say you just keep adding new patches. Till eventually the cloth of the socks is totally gone. I could never wear that. 
Once you well, get to no, that I would point, lose my mind. That looks kind of neat, though. I'm not gonna lie. No. You really say there's the same socks you started with? Well, obviously not. Like if I did patch the first hole, I'd toss it at the second hole. Let's be real. Uh, that's a that's tough. At least this ship of Theseus actually makes sense thematically. Lock socks doesn't yeah. really work as well. Like it's the same basic point mm -hmm. for it or foundation, but it just I don't think it works as an example nearly as well. Jimpe crossed his arms. So that's the locks socks thing. Yeah. The ship of uh, it's not the Theseus. Theseus is a lot like it. Yeah, but unlike with Stocks, sh you're not going to throw away a whole ship if a hole appears in it. The ship of... Oh, yeah, is, this, is this my line? Yeah, yes. It is. Okay. The ship of Theseus. If you keep fixing the damaged parts of the ship, eventually it ends up with none of the parts it started with. Can you really say that ship is the ship of Theseus that you started with? And what if you took all the old parts from the first ship and built another one somewhere else? Then which ship is the real ship of Theseus? You were getting the real a ship little... of Theseus was in our hearts all along. The one you repaired <laughs> or the one you built with all the original parts? It's funny because like, um, I'm I, I've been watching more episodes of One Piece. I'm in Water Seven, uh -huh. and like they're I'm at the point where they're t where they're looking at repairing the ship, but I know what happens. So, ah, uh, um, and yes, it is the same company that did um. Sonium Files. It's Spike Chunsoft. Mm. Good old Spike Chunsoft. Mm -hmm. Mm. It was an interesting question. Clover could see Jinpei was in tree. It is a fun thought experiment, honestly. It is, and it dried the the whole. And what if you took the original parts and built a second ship out of it? Is the one it that wouldn't have made. nearly as much weight without that additional add-on at the end of. What if you built it out of those parts? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it does kind of mess with the first part because you're repairing it because it's damaged. So it, if you yeah. built it out of those damaged parts, it wouldn't be waterbound. Well, what if you so like went to a museum and like reconstructed it out of those parts to like just be put on display? Okay, I suppose in that example that work. <laughs> yeah, it's it's As the same. It's the same uh, thing that people come to when they talk about like things like the the. Um, the off-the-shelf retro computers like you can now basically 90% mm -hmm. of the way make a vic 20 or a commodore 64 uh -huh. with off-the-shelf parts but then people are like well is it actually this the same thing and in my head like right. what that a video either you or sky posted about the guy finding those three old computers mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. can you really say it's still the same old computers just because it's the same base when everything inside is different the, right the, the way that i look at it is that um as long like we live in a world of FPGAs where mm -hmm. chips are basically being turned into hardware solutions for uh -huh. for entire systems. At this, uh, at the end of the day, if it feels right, it's uh, then that's fine by me. Mm -hmm. Like if it feels close enough, then that's fine by me. Like I was, if it's like ninety nine percent accurate, then mm -hmm. that's good enough because uh, you had differences between systems too. So, mm -hmm. like. But then, like, for example, another good example is input lag. When you can feel something's not right, you can feel that it's not right. Like, if something's off by a few frames, you can feel it. Like, I think so, it's as long as it's in the spirit of the original hardware. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm not talking hardware specifically. I mean, like, say you plug a system, a modern, or a retro system up to a modern display, and they don't have, oh, like, sure. a game mode or anything. I mean, heck, there's going to be a, a lot of them. A lot of them, there's less delay than the original cables, like GameCube mm -hmm. specifically. If you use an HDMI uh, adapter for it, it actually has like one or two frames less um, latency. I'll have to find out about that when I get my GameCube. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You're never getting it ah. back, so right? I know. All I'm right, all right, all right. It's been, what, two years now? That's okay. I blame it on ADHD. Yeah. Me too. And on the surgery, probably. Uh oh, yeah, I mean, I mean, definitely delayed it by a month or two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I told your wife. Put it in your calendar. It's literally by the door. And, and that okay. has changed nothing. Get it out of, get out the door. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, you're adorable. It's fine. I'm just teasing you. Uh, hey, do you think it's the same? What's the same? Oh, I hear fireworks. Ah. These guys. Fun. Is this John? <laughs> Sorry. Or is it Lucy now? We can just ask them. I mean, you know. I mean, it kind of—if we're following this kind of logic, it kind of begs the question of like organ transplants. Is it now mm -hmm. your organ, or is it that other person's organ, and vice versa? I mean, you was stored in the brain, so I'm guessing it's John. Although he's probably got some questions now. Junpei looked at the John is table stored again. in his brain. <laughs> a mannequin full of body parts from a different body. Clover had been right; it was just like Locke's socks and the ship of Theseus. Part of the body that holds a person's identity is the head, of course. For many hundreds of years, conventional wisdom has Which held one? the man <laughs> that a man's identity. Well, he doesn't have the other one now. Yeah. Man's identity resided in his as heart, as you know. or any number of internal organs. Oh, we left the heart too. John's head and heart were both his, but apart from that, at a single arm, the rest of his body had once been Lucy's. Was this mannequin really John? You're just like these mannequins. Mean. She looked at Junpei again. Are we, though? Eh, think about it. The cells in our body change every day. Old ones die and new ones are born. Fun fact on that, actually. Every seven years, every by that point, all the cells in your body have died and been reborn, so you're technically an entirely different person. Mm -hmm. yep. And most of them way before that. Well, just, like, for the longest ones, it's seven years, so it's easier to just say every seven years you're a completely new person. Mm-hmm. Because it's technically true. Clover again. Oh, sorry. I need part of the arm is made of stuff from the fish I eat once. What? Okay. Maybe part of your right side is made from a cow you ate. What? Nom, a whole nom, cow? Nom, nom. A whole cow. <laughs> if you take it a little further... Those cows and fishes are made from something else too, right? Ugh, he's me. Your heart's in the right place, but you're not quite online. Uh, no, it's not. It's in John's chest. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we're all connected. Or is it Lucy's we, chest? Because it's the energy we get from consuming and digesting those. These don't necessarily become a part of our physical being. It's and used as fuel that we Proteins and everything too. Protein. Through fields that can't be seen with the naked eye. The silence was broken by Seven, who did not stay. God damn it, Seven. Hey. What the hell's taking you two so long? Seven's head appeared in the doorway. He was not happy. How long are you going to make me wait? We don't have time to screw around. Yeah, you guys. Jesus. Junpei and Clover looked at each other. Clover looked at Junpei as if to interrupted say, the exposition. There was more she wanted to tell him. She shook her head. Whatever she had to tell him, she didn't want to tell him in front of Seven. Seven Should have just done the ship of Theseus and skipped out on Lock's Yeah, we should have skipped the sock. Yeah. Oh, what were you two doing? Having sex, what? I didn't mean... What? That... She looks like she's like... 16 0. Nah, she's How old are like we? 18. I mean, we got home from college, so we're at least a full grown adult. Yeah, she doesn't no, wait, we were coming home from yes. work. Yeah. Weren't we? I'll mock Because <laughs> I want to say we were coming home from work and we were working late shift or Was something. Was this like some that. sort of secret meeting? Yes. No. It wasn't. We were just... Just... Playing. With the mannequins. Huh? Playing dog? Oh. Let's go, oh. Jinbei. Moving a little bit too fast to be entirely innocent, Clover headed towards the exit. Seven started after her, then turned to Junpei with an amused expression. Playing with mannequins, huh? Didn't know you were into that kind of thing, Junpei. <laughs> Seven, shut your fucking mouth. 
You're a dick. <laughs> Should take past put dashed past him and traced Clover's path out the door. With a short lap, seven followed. They stood hey. looking at the door. Jinpei took out the Jupiter key. All right, I'm gonna open it now. Jupiter, cool? okay, ready. Is everyone here. No need to keep now. asking. Is you say that, right? but people keep disappearing. Fine then. He slid the key into the keyhole and turned it. That was loud. He felt it unlock. And before the door was unlocked this whole time. Oh god, that door opening animation was more smooth than I expected. <laughs> the door opened with a soft melancholy creak. Beyond it lay a simple white hallway. There was no fanfare or confetti. Bullshit. Obviously there was no one there to applaud them. They there simply walked be. through the door. That was it. All right, let's get going. Hey, ma'am, what's up with you? You're so serious, you know? It's almost like we're in a life or death situation. Down, no. You sound more happy. We keep lollygagging and talking shit. Ugh. I have an ad that's going to start in like 15 seconds. So yeah. I'm going to take this that's opportunity cool. to go to the bathroom real quick. That um, sounds like a good plan. I'll do that, too. And uh, we will reconvene here in just a second. We will be right back. That we will. Don't touch that dial. Don't don't you do it. Uh... Commercial over. Yeah. Back. Yarn. Leah, thank you for the raid. Whoa, Hi, raid. Raiders. Hello. Leah, Thanks. were you doing more Final Fantasy X? I figured that's what you were doing because I remember you. it was on your schedule. Ha, ah, it was. Oh, <laughs> we both had the same idea. Okay, cool. Ah, commercial is a sidebar. So, yeah. Leah, uh, I need you to level with me. I saw that your title had to be... I saw that your 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 title uh, mentioned uh, Lulu and Lulu's teddy bear. Be honest. Be honest.
Be honest with me. How much were you staring at her? Yes, she is hot. Exactly. Hot goth mommy. <laughs> Who are we talking about? Lulu from Final Fantasy X. She's very busty. Uh, oh, oh, her. I know her. Oh, yeah, I know that. The bit. question is, were you staring at I her boobs? The, the answer is always yes. <laughs> I was staring respectfully. I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure you were, <laughs> Leah. I'm sure you were. I don't believe that for a second. I was on the internet in the 2000s. I know who that is. <laughs> uh, uh, many, many just... people had oh their, their, their goth mommy opening with her. <laughs> the Riku Shubik scene. Oh God. oh, God, she's not legal in that game. <laughs> oh, God. What? Riku, she's like 16 in that game. Yep, she d she's 18 oh, no. and 10-2. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, you got baited. Thanks, Japan. It's okay. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> they lied as easily as they breathed. <laughs> uh, but anyways, Leah, thanks for the raid, and thanks for stopping by, yeah. everybody. We're Welcome going to through... All. We're going it's through actually zero... worse. She was 15. Oh, no. Lulu is Gothamon. Yes, exactly. So yeah, we're going through Zero Escape nine nine nine. Uh I'm playing with these two cuties. Um and uh if you like if you like let uh that child alone. Yes, yes, exactly, Florg, let that child alone. Um if you like <laughs> visual novel mystery creepy things, then you'll probably like this. I don't I don't know how to say it. Horror visual novel. I guess uh, it's a, it's an escape room, the escape end. room uh, thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what genre this like really falls into. It I just, put, end, I just say but... it's a visual novel. Yeah. It's Spooky fun. We're voicing kinda... all the characters. Interactive yeah. visual novel. Yeah. I suppose. Escape room, occult visual novel. Perfect. Exactly. It's yes. Just Although... yes. With I'm a flowchart. Sure two... <laughs> With You've a flow chart. Not this challenge. one. This is the DS Nobody original. Steve cheered. X5. It's <laughs> something. Yep. It sure is. Yeah, the re the remakes have a flowchart. You can like jump back and forth between like scenes and stuff. Yeah, but oh, but would, Sky that sounds Sky cool. Sky over here is like, screw that. I'm gonna install a capture card into my 3DS and we're gonna play the original. <laughs> Yep. And tore her hair out trying to do so because Brandon I did. had a brain. We were playing well, I mean, I've beaten it. I, yeah, this she, is like one of my favorite games of all time. She's the one with the 3DS in her hands. We're just here to nod at, uh, and do math, which I fail at. So Absolutely multiple endings. And only one good ending. The rest are terrible. So like a normal visual novel. Oh, yes. Yeah, I did this one just because, uh, yeah, a uh, better presentation. Maybe after we do the... No. No, because we're going to do the true ending towards the end anyway. We're good. Yeah, I wanted them to experience this on the DS. Mm -hmm. Plus, the other ones have voices, and we wanted a voice, so... Yeah, we're having fun. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to be Junpei so well if it had voice acting. You play Junpei so well. Karama is just embodying Junpei right now. Floggy I am Steve Chief. What are you talking about? X5. Smile <laughs> and wave zero. Smile Possessed and wave high. Cheer dawn of 24. Through the morphog zero morphogenetic wave. field. Exactly. I just... I just nod and smile. Links That's us together. And when, and when there's a puzzle that involves map, math, I'm just the, like, Bakugo gif from when he's in the background just looking at everybody. Or I don't the, know what that gif is. Or the gif of March looking at everyone. Like, huh? I don't know what? which gift you're referring huh? to. When they're all talking about things, and Don Hung gets nope. it, and well, oh, gets it. Wait, <laughs> I thought you said Marge, as in Marge Simpson. March. I was like, what? No, March. Okay. Anyways, let's continue. Y'all ready? Okay. Your line zero. It is. I said. I said that already. Actually. Oh, okay. You know, get a little excited. Um, no. They were already so. messing with the mannequins. 
Not really. Jinpei turned away from Seven and took his first step down the simple white hallway. A giant spike pit opened up beneath him. My brother might be dead. I'm going to be next. Clover had told him only a few minutes before that her brother was probably dead, and she was likely to follow him. How could he pretend to be happy after hearing something like that? You found it! Yay! Confetti! You clapping. found trauma! Whoa. I won! Trauma. They left the operating room. The hallway took them around several corners and past several doors, but they were all locked. Until at last. The final door was hidden in a corner of the hall. Junpei grabbed the handle. As he made to push it open, a voice stopped him. The voice came from behind him and belonged to, a, to neither Seven nor Clover. <gasps> Jumpy! No! <laughs> <laughs> it's your favorite Let me tell you problem. about my hyperfixations! He spun around. He saw someone running towards him from the other end of the hallway. I'm not high enough for that, June. There were three people coming towards Jimpei and his companions. Santa, Lotus, and June. They pulled up short in front of Jimpei, breathing hard. I like how that's the one part of me and Junpei Whoa! that don't mix. <laughs> what the hell is this? A hallway, Santa. What are you doing here? What? But we didn't... Before you could finish, Clover spoke. Hey guys, could you come take a look at this? She was standing near the end of a small hallway that branched off to the right. A small way? A small a way. A small way. The rest of them ran over to her, curious as to what she'd found. There was something on the wall at the end of the hallway. Is it a dead body? Oh. No, it's not a dead body. Well, it's a good thing I said a dead body and not a dead body then. References only. I will get. Cause you're Canadian. It's not I'm a sure. Canadian. It's not a Canadian reference. The reference is something else. Look, seven times out of ten, it's generally a Canadian reference. Yeah. Happy Canada Day, by the way, everybody. Happy Canada Day. The ship's interior. It said "C Dick" in the upper left corner. C Dick. C Dick corner. Sky. Well, we know what's ah. on your mind. C Dick and D's nuts. It was they assumed. Oh, look, it's the thing that is generally on Zero's mind. Ha <laughs> ha. Door seven and door eight. The map confirmed they were what they already knew. Both doors eventually led to the hallway where they had found themselves. In fact. Yeah, isn't that what I said? <laughs> we aren't going to be split up permanently, so you find door nine. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door nine. I mean, I know you said that, but that doesn't mean I believed That's you. That's how the non works. He, he knows a lot, apparently. He knows a lot for an amnesiac. Uh -huh. Junpei looked at the map of the ship's interior again. Yay, arrows. As he looked more closely, his surprise and excitement gave way to weariness. One by one, the others saw what he'd seen. They moved as one for the door. He pulled the map of the ship's interior off the wall, put it in his pocket, and followed the others. Imagine the map just rips in half. It's like, ah, shit. Because <laughs> paper never comes cleanly off the walls without tearing. <laughs> Not enough for hurry, Jill. Too them. bad, Florg. Too bad. <laughs> the six of them stood in front of the door, arrayed in a semicircle. Santa stepped forward. He took hold of the door and spoke without looking back at the other five. Ready? Nope. I'm gonna open it. No, you're not. Slowly, all five nodded in their silent ascent. I guess With they a are. With deep breath, Santa threw open the door. No, it looks, sure looks like a door opening. They poured through the doorway and into the room. Suspenseful. Even without looking around, each of them knew where they were. They were just where the map had said they would be. The same room they'd been in not so very long ago. 
A tremendous uh, central hospital room with empty beds from wall to wall. And I love his cold. <laughs> the flame what? like you can't even know. Run away, I can run no. in circles. Run away, run away, run away. Who's Ace? I am. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. Six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory, and then met one another in the hallway after opening the doors. He looked like anyone might after only just waking up. It seemed that his so wait, brain was. Does working that mean as if well we chose door four, we would have ended up somewhere else completely? Nope. Okay, so they, they all lead back to this room. Uh -huh. Wait, because we need the key to open the elevator, don't we? Uh-huh. That's right. It makes sense that it leads back. Never mind. I forgot about the elevator. He had managed to grasp, summarize, and understand each team's report. At any rate. I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. I'm sure you'll be back for me. I did hope you would come back, but I confess I didn't think you'd be back so soon. Ace shook his head with a rueful smile. Well, we saw each other, and we ain't dead, so I say that's good enough. No chance Lotus realized that we'd be meeting back up in this room when she proposed that plan. <laughs> Seven smiled. <coughs> Anyways, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. The key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the... There you go. Operating room. <laughs> right, Jinpei? Jinpei nodded. Ah, the solar system keys. Actually, they found one in the laboratory, too. Here, the Earth key. Lotus okay, so we have the keys for both elevators, then. Key with an Earth symbol on it. I might lose it, so it's probably better if you hold on to it, main character. That way, it won't be my fault if it gets lost. And with that, she pressed it into Junpei's hand. Felt slightly less than honored. As a group, they now had three keys that had not been used. The Jupiter key, which had been found in the operating room. The Saturn key card, which had been found in the kitchen. The Earth key, which Lotus had just handed to Junpei. Junpei tucked the new keys into his pocket. June spoke up. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of the long, straight hallway, right? Yeah. <laughs> if the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. <laughs> It kills me every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then next to the stairs. Wait. They were the first words anyone had heard out of Clover in some time. Her face suggested they weren't going to be happy with her. Be very happy words. Oh my god. What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. It just lead back to the big hospital room. There's no point in seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point. At least there is for me. There were tears in her eyes, but she glared at seven as hard as she could just the same. She looked very much like a frightened puppy. It can't be nine. It can't be nine. There wasn't a man alive who could have resisted those eyes. Seven looked everywhere in the room except at Clover, and muttered and coughed apologies under his breath. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door three. No, that's not how that works. No, no, nine blew up. <laughs> nine blew up very early. Clover nodded once. The next person to speak was Ace. 
very well. I'll be coming with you, though. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. So, Seven, you'll help me, won't you? And, like, when the ship blew up? Huh? No, he tried to uh, take Clover as a hostage and then get through a door, and then he blew himself up. He was a fool. He was an idiot. Me? Junpei did the calculations quickly in his head. Quickly, Junpei, do them! Oh, uh, math! Ah! Uh, no, my head blows up. It looked like Seven was doing them, too. At last, he gave up. Who's Seven? Damn, well, oh, I guess that's how it has got to be. We're five, aren't we? <laughs> we're five. I'm going yeah. with you, huh? Um, oh, no. Oh, seven and Seven, obviously. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> so, Clover, Ace, and Seven. Oh, crap. Alright, let's get moving. If I touch the touch screen, it advances the text, too. And I, I'm, I just meet ham, ham handed everything. Well, don't wear and, ham hands. Oh, okay. And so That's it was decided that <laughs> Clover, Ace, and Seven would discover what lay beyond door three. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa, didn't think you'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Never know if we'll need your number. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble Which one? if you bought it. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, the truth comes uh, out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is it going to have to be a new Seven emote nine. for you? Just like... <laughs> Yeah. And with his uh, with a smiled open face, it just says yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As if the answer made much more sense, and pull the lever on the red. Okay. Let's go. The door opened, and Ace Clover and Seven jumped through it. Second to the top of the chairs on your channel. Damn. Hmm? Who's number one? Is it is it still uh, Pure Fortune? No, it's Nightman. No, wow, you you passed Pure Fortune. Wow. Damn. Yeah, I passed Pure Fortune about two k ago. Don't tell him about that, because then he'll show up and drop like ten k bits, because he's fucking crazy. <laughs> After exactly nine seconds, the door closed noisily. All right, we should get moving too. Huh? Yes. Get moving? Huh? Where are we going? Yeah. Yeah. Going Your legs except Lotus seemed rather confused. Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. I get it. We're going to see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Yes. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. We're lucky we might not die. Yeah. They were at the end of the hallway lined by individual hospital rooms. The Jupiter symbol was engraved on the keyhole. All right, Junpei, open it, if you please. Yep, yeah, on it. Junpei pulled out the Jupiter key, pulled the Jupiter key out of his pocket, and slid it into the keyhole. He twisted. Jupiter, okay, ready? He broke. Oh. With a nice sharp click, he felt the door unlock. All Ooh. right, ready, guys? Wee woo, hello cinnamon roll. Wee woo, wee woo. Wee you, wee you, wee nodded. you. He nodded back and then slowly and quietly opened the door.
Inside was exactly what he expected to see from the map of the ship's interior. They were in a tremendous hall, almost like a ballroom with a ma massive central staircase. Great, back at the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? Not at all. What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Huh? Huh? This. Junpei pulled two things out of his pockets. The key cards. The Saturn key card and Saturn. the Earth key. Santa cocked his head to one side like an inquisitive bird and looked at them. After several long moments, during which it became apparent that Santa had no idea what the cards meant, June took pity on him. Don't you remember, Santa? On C deck, where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? You big dumbass. Fucking idiot. And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with a Saturn symbol on it. Don't you remember all these tiny little details? Jeez. The ones on we that uh, June spent way too long. Some of us aren't neurodivergent. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's hard to forget when June spends five minutes talking about it. I yeah. one of your subs in Crunchy Pickles Live, and he was using one of your emails to search you up and join. Oh, cool. Nice. Well, thanks and for stopping by. On the door on the left. There was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it. I think. Not that I remember exactly. So the two keys that Jumpy has. Should let's use the elevator and the door on A deck. Huh. Yes, that's right. June smiled, pleased with herself. So did Santa. Come on, finally, let's her All talk. All right, I got it. Let's get started, then. What do you say we split into two teams? Fucking split hell. up, gang. You can take June, Santa. <laughs> Lotus and I will search the Earth one, Lotus. so you two can search Saturn, all right? Sounds good. <laughs> Junpei handed the Earth key to Santa. They decided that their initial search should be brief. Only ten minutes. They meet back near the staircase once they were done. Only? Ten minutes is still a lot when you have only a handful of hours. Mm -hmm. Junpei and Jun headed for the elevators. Oh, no. What? Oh, nothing. Just oh. embracing myself for this scene. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yes. Sure enough, there was no. a card reader bolted to the wall next to the left elevator. Got a he bad lined up the Saturn key this. card and swept it through the reader. June pays in for pain, isn't he? Oh, very much. Huh, a light June on the pain. upper left corner blinked to life. Great. Looks like it's working now. <laughs> you sound so enthused. All right. Now, how do I call the elevator? There was a single button to the right of the elevator door, and Junpei is an idiot. On the button was the upside-down triangle, the universal symbol for down. There didn't appear to be an up button. Junpei pushed it. He didn't have much of a choice. Time to go drown ourselves in the flooded deck. It... it opened! That's a Jumpy. big fucking elevator. Reinforced. <laughs> June's voice was excited, but Junpei could hear a tinge of anxiety. Sweet, it opened. Let's get going. You first. He grinned at June and stepped towards the open door. I like how I can just hear the grin in your voice as you're reading this, anticipating what's coming. <laughs> As he was about to set foot in it, he felt a hand on his arm. Wait! What? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not really... I, I just... Oh gosh. 
Junpei was something of a loss. Yes. What could she possibly be so frightened of? Jun was what could possibly go of. wrong? <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my one. Uh, I know the actual quote. answer is, but I think I prefer the other one. All right. Mm -hmm. After a little thought, Jinpei decided that she had to be nervous about being locked up in such a small space alone with a boy. Trust me, this boy is just as nervous being locked up with her. In a way, it was kind of cute, but not for the reasons you'd think. <laughs> Very demure, you could say, he thought. Still, no, I wouldn't. Even though it wasn't exactly roomy in the elevator, they weren't going to be pressed up against one another. At least they didn't have to be. Not going to be. Still, it was making her nervous. Junpei couldn't help but think how innocent she was. Go on, let's get this over with. Again, he stepped towards the elevator. And again, he felt himself restrained. I, I said, wait a minute. Why? We've got ten minutes. You've wasted two. Aren't you afraid, Jumpy? Afraid of what? Well, I've never, you know... Ridden in an elevator before? She'd never been in an elevator with a man alone before. Even so, she still seemed awfully alarmed. I might... get wet. What? <laughs> huh? Down there, what? I'd get soaking oh. wet. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, it was God. only going down. Because oh. that's where the flooded basement was, okay. Oh, we're all terrible. <laughs> Oh, no, I, that's that's what I immediately assumed was the reason. <laughs> Sky ended up going the opposite, and I just didn't say anything. Oh, you said you knew the reason, and you wanted the opposite. <laughs> yes, and you chose the opposite. Yes. Yep. Because I oh, literally boy. just mentioned like thirty seconds before we got the option of, oh, we're gonna be going down into the water. <laughs> You're lying. Uh, I mean, of course you would. That's the way it works. I mean, I've never heard of anyone getting soaking wet somewhere else. That's... that's true. You... don't mind? Mind what? Getting wet. Oh, I don't know. I think I'd probably, you know, like it. Water's fun. Gosh, Jumpy, you're so brave. Really? It's just water. I mean, I kind of think any guy would do the same thing, you know? What happens, happens, right? You sound so happy right now. <laughs> I'm losing my shit right now. If you get the chance, you just gotta jump for it. That's what a man's supposed to do, I suppose. You're so cool, Jumpy. I really admire you. Uh, doesn't really seem like the sort of thing you uh, ought to admire someone for. I'm, I'm really scared. Can we just get this over with, please? <laughs> I mean, like you said, you've never done it before. Yes. So I don't think I'll be able to last very long, and then it'll be over. Don't <laughs> kill me. <laughs> this is the kind of miscommunication I hate reading. <laughs> <laughs> this is physically painful uh... for me. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is hilarious. Yes. I love this. I'll go to heaven. Jim, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it feels kind of like you're floating in space and then your mind gets all fuzzy. Like when you pass out. Being in water is not like that at all, Jim. have experienced it. That's not what being in water is like at all. Drowning. Ah, yes. I, I mean, okay, <laughs> drowning, fair. I mean, yeah, I've. I prefer that too. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Although I don't think the same thing happens to guys. What? Huh? <laughs> then it would happen to men too, wouldn't it? It would happen to anyone. Once it gets oh. into your body, the same thing happens to everyone. I mean, usually it doesn't come to the win. <laughs> Jim, please shut the fuck up, June. Go somewhere else, please. 
Yes, it does. Uh... Well, eventually it will. It's not like you really have a choice. Your body will force you to swallow some of it eventually. <laughs> I fucking love this game. <laughs> what are you trying to do to me? <laughs> you just... Telling me it would be easier. I'm not gonna do anything to you. I'm just saying that that's what happens. It's a psychological reaction to what you're experiencing. Was that really how it happened? It occurred to Junpei that perhaps that was how it worked. Perhaps he'd been mistaken all these years. Had he misunderstood life so gravely? The thought terrified him. I'm terrified. Jin seemed to be <laughs> entirely oblivious to Junpei's mountain confusion and terror. I know most men probably have larger lungs, but even then, I don't think you could hold your breath for 20 or even 10 minutes. Eventually, you'd have to breathe, and then the water would get into your lungs. Once that happens, your body won't be able to get oxygen anymore, and you'll start to feel that floaty feeling as you die, or pass out. <laughs> I'm going to go drown myself now. Down we go! <laughs> Press this button. <laughs> 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 Finally, Jim Pei understood. Poor Karama. <laughs> he understood what Jun was trying to say and why she was so scared. Of course, you've been clipping my pain, Zero. <laughs> you're just lucky there's a cooldown. Yeah, you're right. You won't last very long. See? She was afraid that the only elevator button pointed down. That meant, of course, the elevator couldn't go any higher than the floor they were on. As he thought about it, Junpei realized he hadn't seen elevators on the A or B decks near the central staircase. All of which meant that the elevator could only convey them to the lower decks. Lower the decks! The lower decks! <laughs> lower decks! Lower decks! You know, if nothing I'm... else, this will at least confirm or deny a theory I had from the beginning. Oh? Okay. Yes, about wh whether or not it's actually flooded. And the floor below the one they were on, D nu these nuts should be completely submerged. No. Yep. That meant... Hey, wait a minute. The litter came out from somewhere under us, right? Um, well, <sighs> yes, I guess it did. It didn't this open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise, like it was moving, and then it opened. Yeah, exactly. It's not soaked. Yes? Take a look inside. Jim I'm taking you down first, actually. I take from mine. <laughs> Go check and see if it's safe. <laughs> not wet at all, is it? Down there? The oh, there oh any God. floor totally dry. Oh, you're right, they are. She looked around the elevator, slightly embarrassed. Well, let's test it. You first. Test it? Yeah, what's this? Sometimes Junpei has smart moments. <laughs> Junpei would put one foot in the elevator, bent around the corner of the door until he could see the floor buttons. There were this only is not two. one of them. E and C. He pushed the E button and jumped out of the elevator. The door slid shut, and they heard the grinding of the motor as the elevator car moved down. The elevator did not come back up. It just comes out filled with water. A few moments later, they heard the sound of the elevator door grinding open several floors below. Jinpei nodded to June and pressed the elevator button again. A few moments later, the elevator returned. The door slid open, and just as Junpei had expected, there was no water to be found. See? Junpei couldn't resist puffing out his chest just a little bit. Jun, however, still looked confused. What does that mean? How can the E deck be safe if the D deck is full of water? Well, here's what I think. The elevator shaft and E deck must be watertight and separate from whatever the ship's been punctured. Or it's not actually flooded. Here, let me show you. He pulled out his notebook and pen and sketched out a rough illustration. It has been more than ten minutes, damn it. <laughs> I see. 
I see. So that's why the ship hasn't sunk? Ah, uh, you see? Ah. Uh, the shape of the inside keeps it from all filling with water? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. Jinpei continued talking as he closed the notebook and slipped it back into his pocket. So I'm going to go down and check it out. And if I'm wrong, at least I don't have to come back up. <laughs> just stay here and sit tight. Um, but... Come on, just do it, alright? Gave June's shoulder a reassuring squeeze and hopped under the elevator. If I'm lucky, it kills me. If not, I'll be back in five minutes. <laughs> he pushed the E button and the door closed. June looked worried, her eyes darting back and forth as, she was, as if she was trying to make a decision, when suddenly... I'm coming with you! Ah, uh, no. At the last possible moment, June dashed forward, turning sideways just in time to slip through the gap between the closing doors. Junpei jammed his finger against the open button. But it was too late. It's actually the close button. Just jam it just constantly. Click, 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 click. <laughs> the door had shut, and he and June were on the elevator, and it was headed down to E-Deck. No! No! He was so surprised by June that he didn't have time to think about what awaited him on E-Deck. I'm, I'm out of water. <laughs> The elevator stopped and the door slid open. I, I, I can't. And then we drowned. I, I can't hydrate. I'm out of water. The joke was the, the elevator door opened. And oh. He died. Yeah. He died ah. at the end. They stepped off onto the floor outside the elevator. Nothing seemed especially unusual. No fish going about their fishy business or jellyfish floating lazily through the water. There was, however, a blowfish. Or at least something that looked very much like one. June's cheeks were puffed out and her mouth a tiny, intense frown. Hmm. Hmm. I got you covered. I can pout with this model. I can pout too. Look. Hmm. Hmm. Karama. One second. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, oh, knock it off. It's just like I thought. This part hasn't flooded. Look, there's no water around. June looked around nervously, then ah! exhaled. You're right. It's not flooded at all. Of course I'm right. But there's a whole lot of water. Yeah, right on top of us. What's going to happen if the ceiling breaks? We're going to die a terrible death. <laughs> Junpei thought about that for a moment. Well, we'd probably get really wet up there. Damn it. Huh? Huh? At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can once we're done looking around down here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seven, you can drown with us. Oh, fuck that. Too late. Lotus and Santa might already be back. It's been 15 minutes. Okay, good idea. Junpei glanced around the room they'd found themselves in. First thing he noticed was a set of thick iron bars. They ran the length of the room, separating the left elevator from the right one. Well, we can't go over there. Right. Then perhaps. In the corner of the room that housed the elevators, Junpei found an opening. He walked up to it and stuck his head around the corner. A long, straight hallway stretched out in front of him. That door at the end of the hallway. There's something written on it. Yeah, let's go have a look. Junpei and Jun set off down the hallway on a brisk clip, somewhere between a run and a jog. I had the wrong screen on top. Before long, <laughs> they found themselves in front of the door. On it was a number written in bright red paint. Six. I knew it. This is a numbered door. 
and indeed there was a red bolted to the wall right next to the door. Of course, with only two people, there wasn't much they could do with it. All right, let's head back. Yes! Junpei and Jun turned and headed back to Sea Deck. On their way back, Junpei noticed a map on the wall. A yoink! As it turned out, it was a burnt map of the ship interior for E Deck. Why the fuck's it burned? Hey. E deck, yeah. Big missing piece. That's massive, yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. So you guys have found door one. They'd met back up with Santa and Lotus, who had explained what they found. Apparently, there was another numbered door on A-Deck, just like the one on E-Deck beyond the door that the Earth Key opened. According to Santa and Lotus, there was a 1 on the door. All told, they had told they had discovered two new doors, the 6 and the 1 door. Isn't it interesting that E-Deck wasn't flooded? Oh, it is interesting. Lotus had was quite for a moment lost in thought. Nine. Which is interesting. Yes. Well, we don't really know if all of E-Deck is safe. We only checked the area around the elevator. Even so, it's still very interesting. You said the sixth door was there, right? Hi, Star. Oh, uh, okay. Star. I star like, yeah, you has butt. interrupted. <laughs> I didn't interrupt anything. I didn't say yes. you. There's more cats than just you, Zero. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Santa. That that means Zero planned all this out. Even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. It's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah. I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. A fortune. Oh. It would have been a ton, that's for sure. Well, what... Does go along with er, bleh. well that does go along with what Ace was saying. That, the most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Yes, it does make sense. The thought made them all go quiet for a moment. June bit her lip while Lotus sighed softly to herself and Santa cracked a stiff neck and stared off into the distance at nothing. Um, I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. June looked up at Junpei with large pleading eyes. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei and I should be able to open door one. Huh? You guys leave me behind? Just kidding. All right, let's go. Lotus's words were all the impetus they needed. Impetus. Back to the large hospital room they went. I can words. You can words. Doctor, doctor, what am I here for? Can't you see I don't need this place? I don't need <laughs> the moment they stepped words. inside, a tremendous voice echoed across the room. Hey, yo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Where the hell did you guys go? It was seven. Ace was right behind him and Clover was behind Ace, although she seemed to be hanging back. It looked as though there was something strange about them. Seven had the look of a man who'd seen a ghost. Ace was just as pale, and Clover looked as though she was only moments from passing out entirely. 
No, must for a long snake. moment. <laughs> they simply stood there looking at one another. Jinpei looked around nervously, waiting for someone else to speak. No one did. He looked at Seven. What happened? The hell kind of question is that? A perfectly normal one. Seven was trying very hard to be angry, but something had shaken him hard. His shoulders were trembling, and his voice was strained. Snake was... Snake is... Seven couldn't finish. He just looked away, his face twisted by Jun... Twisted by... Junpei wasn't sure what. Instead, Ace spoke. He took a deep breath, closed his eyes, and spoke. Snake is... Dead. He died, just as the ninth man did. Done! It was as if all the air had suddenly been sucked out of the room. Junpei felt his heartbeat quicken and he realized he was having trouble breathing. He could feel a cold sweat beating on his forehead and neck. Jun, Santa, and Lotus looked the way he felt. All three were frozen in place, their faces white. That... Oh my god, that's not true, is it? That means two people mm -hmm. worked together to kill him. Hmm. That could have gone to Minted Room 3. Interesting. Because he's number two, right? Snake is two, yes. Hmm. I'm going to have to do some thinking about that after uh, mm. stream. <laughs> I can't wait to hear. We should make sure. One second. You snacking on? I'm snacking on your ear. Ah! Yeah, you don't need my right. ear. We should. <laughs> Although your screen is probably your boob. I mean, you're not moving on her screen, but yeah. Ah. I mean, yeah, you can you can chomp the boob if you want. Just might make noises. <laughs> I read my line, by the way. Oh, okay. They nodded to one another and headed for the number three door. Wait! Not that way. They stopped short and turned to look at Seven. He was pointing at the door with no number. I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing all the way. Hopefully our bombs don't explode because we cheated. It's not locked, so you can't go that way. You can. So you can go into that way. Where is... Where is he? The shower room on the left side of the hallway. I put a broom in there too to keep the door open. We can't get in without going through the numbered door, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Their new destination clear. Junpei and his companions headed for the door with no number. Once in the hallway, it was easy to spot the metal door on the left wall. It hadn't been open when they'd been here through before. But now, just as Seven has said, there was a broom stuck between the door and the frame, keeping it open. They looked at it for a moment, then stepped inside. Ugh, it smells horrible. Lotus wrinkled her nose and covered her mouth in disgust. Even Santa pinched his nose shut. Yeah, this is pretty awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke. It was just as bad as they had said, perhaps worse. A hideous smell filled the air, so thick they could almost taste it. Bleh. Ew. It was sour and smelled of fish, feces, and burnt meat. It worked its way through Junpei's nose and down his throat to pound against the entrance to his stomach. Oh, why would you say that? He put his hands over his mouth and struggled to keep what little was in his stomach where it belonged. L they didn't have L to wonder R. where the body was. There was blood everywhere. A few arms of the spatter reached through towards them as they walked through the door. All one, had to was... or one L. Huh. All one had to do was follow the many radial arms to their source. The body itself was hidden behind a divider. One second.
Dion, you should stay here. But... Please, just do me a favor, okay? Alright? He didn't give her a chance to say no. He put his hand on her shoulder as if to shove her to the ground like a tent pole. Turned and walked to the end of the divider. It felt like it took an eternity for him to get there. Santa and Lotus followed, timid and nervous, nervous as a pair of children. Eventually they reached the divider. They looked at one another and nodded slowly. Junpei put his hand on the divider and peered around the corner. For a moment he forgot to breathe. He felt his heart collapse in his chest like an empty cigarette carton and time froze. He knew in that instant that it would that he would take that image before him to the grave. What was left of the body sat in a sea of blood. Chunks of flesh torn from the body sat in the blood like tiny islands in a great red sea. It is vivid. Yeah. A I vast ragged hole had been torn in the torso, and what remained of his intestines spelled out like fresh spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Smaller chunks. Smaller chunks of meat had spattered against the wall and become stuck there as they dried. Globules of yellowish fat had left trails like tiny slugs as gravity pulled them down the wall, That's even as they globule. dried to it. Globule. Just like a said. Santa's voice was strained. Jinpei suspected he was holding down some vomit of his own. Just like the ninth man. Detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. It looked as though the explosion had been quite powerful. His legs were both bent in an odd and natural way, and his left arm had split open, exposing the painfully white bone of his ulna. His bracelet lay next to him. It seemed to have hit the wall hard enough to have shattered the display, which lay on the ground in pieces. Half of his head had simply collapsed. The blood coating it almost made it look like raw pizza dough covered in tomato sauce. Yeah. Jeez, they're really going descriptive, aren't they're they? They're really going to it. His clothes, too, were covered in blood. The burgundy tie, the white suit, the jacket and yellow piping, the gray slacks, they were all familiar to Junpei. No mistake about that, it's Snake. Lotus's voice was unnaturally deep and strained, and Junpei heard it catch in her throat. Well, that was fun. Yeah. The squeal of tortured metal made Junpei's teeth curl. It sounded like the noise a ghost would make. No matter how many times he heard it, he never got used to it. Every time it put him on edge. It didn't help that there was a girl nearby who looked far more like a ghost than a living human should. It was Clover. She sat on the edge of the bed, her head drooping listlessly onto her chest. Her eyes were blank and stared across the room at nothing. Her breathing was slow and mechanical. Aside from the rise and fall of her chest, she didn't move. Junpei felt as even a nudge might cause her to shatter into a thousand pieces. Nick was probably murdered. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chances are he was killed by the same way the Knife Man was. Seven lowered his voice, likely in an effort to keep Clover from hearing what he had to say. There were four other people in the room with Junpei and Seven. Ace, Santa, June, and Lotus. Seven looked at each one of them in turn and continued. Pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. They shoved him into it, alone. And waited nine seconds for the door to shut. Once the door shut, it was over for Snake, but he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran to the shower. Room looking for the dead small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. <laughs> that picture! Oh, it's so intense! <laughs> Fortunately, it didn't work. Detonators only deactivated everybody's authenticated when they went in uses the dead. 
And then 81 seconds after he was shoved in. Your splat. That. Kablamo. I'm curious how we didn't hear the explosion go off. Hmm. Because, like, it was a fairly loud explosion for the Room 9 guy. Mm-hmm. Suspicious. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. Still you. I know. I'm running okay. down. Oh, okay. Thanks for me to revisit after stream. Ah. It wouldn't open for a snake in a single killer. Yeah. 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 That means we're looking at multiple perps here. Jinpei crossed his arms and grunted. Yeah. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. Right after that was when we noticed that he was gone. That means none of us have alibis. We were all out searching the rooms we'd been assigned, looking for those those parts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that means anybody could be the killer. Uh, wait a minute! What are you talking about? June seemed shocked. How can you say one of us is a killer so casually? Well, not just one of us. If I'm right then, at least two of us are murderers. Why don't you come down a bit, Seven? What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants. You know. What? Zero wants? Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and loser. Whoever makes it through door not only is a winner, and those who don't are losers. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Yes. Yeah. Interesting supposition, Ace, mm -hmm. but that still doesn't change the fact that it requires at least three people to open a door, and that they only the bomb only goes off as far as we're aware when not everyone is in there to deactivate the dead. Mm -hmm. So seven right, maybe. So two people pushed in. Yeah, like yeah. seven's assumption isn't wrong. I understand he's starting to calm the panic, but that doesn't look good for Ace. Does not. That is why we cannot let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Then He's a very manipulative does... cat. <laughs> then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes, almost certainly Zero himself. If there's anyone we should doubt, it should be Zero. He mass-minded this game and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? No, not at all. He's been very hands-off about this whole thing, outside of kidnapping us. He'd have no reason to interfere with a game just to kill someone off. Well, it was to make everyone not trust each other, if Ace is right. Assuming Ace is right, sure. Mm -hmm. But, as we've seen, Zero's only spoken on the mic once, and been quiet since. Mm -hmm. uh, Junpei hadn't really considered that. If Zero had killed Snake, then Zero was on the ship with them. Was Zero still on the ship with them? I'm not sure. Don't know? No. Hey, I'm, wonder I'm just wondering about one thing. What's that? How can you be so sure that Zero's on the ship? Ace's eyebrows shot up. Really? 
that you can pay. In fact, I'm a little disappointed. Usually you're rather sharp. Isn't it obvious? Obvious? How so? This ship. Huh? Zero said uh, this ship several times when he addressed us. Zero. Mm. Oh. Sorry. Zero, you gotta be you. I'm I'm very tired. <laughs> it's zero time. <clears throat> We're about done. Zero, the captain of this ship. The purpose of this game is simple. Leave this ship alive. As you have no doubt su submerged, this ship has begun to sink. Yeah, that doesn't mean he's still on the ship. This ship could just mean there's only one ship. So obviously be saying this ship. Actually no, it makes more sense if there's multiple ships that he's best Or if it was pre-recorded. That too, yeah. We have no proof that he didn't just drop us off and then leave. We're looking after everything from afar. He wouldn't stay on a ship that's gonna sink. I mean, glug, 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 I mean indeed. if he weren't here, he wouldn't say the ship, would he? He'd be saying something like, that ship, or the ship. Oh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense? Ace's explanation made perfect sense. Junpei felt a little foolish he hadn't seen it himself. I disagree Still, he was left with a question. <laughs> and it was one of no small importance. If Zero's on the ship, where is he? Suddenly, everyone went very quiet. The silence was cold and clammy, and Jinpei could feel it crawling across his back and around his throat. Again, he heard the ghosting, moaning noise. And moments later, a person who looked more ghost than human appeared. It was Clover. She uh, looked at the floor as she spoke, and her voice was a cold monotone. I think... I think Zero is... One of us. One of dun, us. Dun, dun, dun. One of us. One of us. <clears throat> Every human body in the room froze. The only sound was the muffled rustling of breath. Eyes darted from face to face. One of those faces was the face of their jailer. But who? Jinpei said. Hmm. Um. So that's something I've considered being a possibility, but I feel like anything there'd be a co-conspirator among the other members, not Zero themselves. Uh... You know what this is doing? It's making me wanna like rewatch slash play Umineko. Oh yeah, do that. Um, <sighs> I I also find a suspect that Clover is the one who brings that up, considering. How much he seems to know about things, uh, alongside mm -hmm. how much Snake seems to know. But I also worry that if I agree with her, that'll only just further spread the panic as well. Um... I will say this check does not affect the ending. I mean, that's fair, but I'm also just considering what I'd actually think in that position as well. Hmm. Yes, oh, halfway channel. Possible. This is the original version, but it's being played on original hardware. Well, yep. 3DS. Because that's probably how I'd react hearing that news. The halfway well, channel. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, we decided to do it on the original hardware because it's just a better version. <laughs> According to Sky, we haven't played the other version. Yes, these two haven't played it. I have. Uh, huh? Huh? Like Clover says, Zero might be one of us. What are you saying, Jumpy? Didn't you hear what Ace said? It was June the whole June time. at the top of that list. Exactly. I said we shouldn't suspect one another for no reason. Maybe it's Ace because he's the one no who's reason. acting. I've got a great reason. And what's that? A bracelet. 
He held out his left arm. Why are the bombs on our bodies connected to the bracelets? And before Junpei turns out to be an amnesiac and is zero. <laughs> you're, all think you're all thinking Zero's hiding somewhere watching us, right? If he's doing that, then he could just detonate the bombs by remote control if someone did something they weren't supposed to do. It would be a lot more precise and a lot easier. But if that's the case, then why is the bomb set off by the detonator and the bracelet? Huh? You got a point. I'm not done. Try playing the same ideas to the non game. All the puzzles here run all by themselves. In other words, Zero doesn't have to be controlling them for the game to move. Why is that? Why would Zero bother to do something like that? Good question, Jinpei. You seem to think a lot about this. You can let the I'm question zero. hang in the air and look at the others. <laughs> it was Santa who answered. It, it, it was Santa who answered. Zero. Hmm? I think Zero is asleep. What? Sorry. What? <laughs> I'm really tired. All yeah, right. After this. Yeah. So let's say you and Clover are right. Zero's one of us. If that's the case, then it'd be really hard for him to keep track of all of us. Or control anything remotely. That's why all the puzzles run by themselves. That's what you're getting at, right? Yeah. Yeah, Junpei nodded. Don't know the differences, just know it's a fun story. Um, yeah, the presentation is different. Um, there's voices, but also um, there's there's a twist uh, towards the end, and uh, it's not conveyed well in the remakes. Seven, when we were talking earlier, you said any one of us could be Sink's killer, right? Yeah, something like that. Every All right, fucking then time. I All right, then I've got a question for you, Ace. You, something, you said something like, Zero must be the one who killed Snake, right? Yes, something like that. I can't think of any other explanation. So what do we get if we combine those? They fit together pretty well, I think. Something like this. Whoever killed Snake equals Zero equals one of us. Seven Aces theories are mutually exclusive, they actually complement each other pretty well. At least, they do if Zero is one of us. No one spoke. Their faces were grim, but Junpei wasn't sure if they believed him or not. Finally, Lotus spoke up. You want to end here? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I'm just no, uh, you're good. really tired. I got a lot done this weekend, so... That's good. Including, I started the Anime North video, but I'm doing something different with it this time. Oh, fun. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I love how much that yeah. cracks you up. You're so cute. Shut up. <laughs> okay, we gotta raid someone. Yeah, we do. Where are we dropping? Uh, let's see who's live. Uh, I don't uh, see anyone. Uh-uh. Uh, let me check. Uh, I have... Yeah, I don't have anyone. Skyrocket Dogs are in Street Fighter 6, but they've got 27 people. Kuma's doing... Uh, Nightman three. went live 20 minutes before... Er, uh, wait. What? Nightman's still going? Was it... Yeah, that was today at 9.22, so Nightman might be going. There's also I, Yeah, Paul, Nightman's going. PA Werewolf, potentially okay. as well, doing Minecraft. Yeah, but Nightman's still going, Fortnite. so... Nightman works. Yep. Nightman works? Okay. Yeah. Alright. What's their... The Nightman 39. Here, I'll post it in your... 
Okay. 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 Alright. And I won't fuck it up this time. Y'all know the drill. Well, I already started, so. Okay, yeah, me too. Here we go. Uh, but in case you don't, I do have a, uh, a, uh, a little, a little, uh, raid message we're gonna use. I'll just post it in your chat, too, so you have it. Cool, cool. Um, tomorrow you're night... You're copying that. Here's another one. Yeah, that works, Without too. the first ones. Yeah. Um, tomorrow night, uh, watch episodes three and four of Commoner ZO in my server for Toka Tuesday. So, cool, cool. if you're not part of the server, go ahead and join up right there. Um, yeah. Uh, and then my usual stuff, social media, blah, 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 YouTube channels, blah, 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 new content on the channels that you'll find soon. Also, go oh, yeah. follow Sky oh, and Karama. Me? Go follow both of them. All this guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> is there anything y'all want to talk about you're doing before the raid happens? Not anything. really. Just I'm going to be grinding for Firefly tomorrow night. Still. I, I I've done 80 I'm going to be more Elden Ring, but that's yeah. not something I do stream-wise, so... <laughs> that's fair. All right, guys. Take care. Come here and rush. Use a brush. Don't do drugs. Stay in school. Eat your teeth. Next time I cheat, raid's about to happen. We'll see you later. Bye. Don't eat your teeth. Bye. Yay. Yay. Yay.